What's up internet? Today I want to show you how to check your iPhone battery health and maybe explain some of the issues you could be having with your iPhone. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is how to check your battery health. What you're going to do is open the settings app in your phone and once you're in settings, scroll down to where you see battery. You'll then see an option to select battery health and on the next screen you'll see maximum capacity. This is a measure of the maximum battery capacity in relation to the, when the battery was brand new. So while your batteries are being used every single day, it is slowly losing capacity. Even though you're recharging your battery back to 100%, technically over time, you're only recharging it to 100% of whatever the battery capacity is. Your battery should be able to retain up to about maybe 80% of its original capacity after about 500 charges. And Apple does support a year warranty, but you can always get a new battery after that. It's a relatively cheap price and you can take it to an authorized third party repair shop if an Apple store isn't near you. So as your battery life gets worse, the ability that it has to give you peak performance is also impacted. There's an indicator here that lets you know if peak performance capability is still intact. And that means that after a certain amount of time, your battery will experience a degradation in health and that means that apps will load slower, scrolling will be a little jittery, and your screen brightness may also have some issues. In some serious cases on older phones, you may experience situations where apps have to refresh every time you open them. These are all impacted by bad battery health and low maximum capacity. So check your battery health. If you need to get a new battery, get a new one. Odds are that getting a new battery might save you from having to buy a new phone and ultimately keep waste out of the environment, which is always a great thing. Bonus tip. Use optimized battery charging to let your iPhone determine your charging habits and it will automatically charge your phone to 80% and then right before you pick it up, typically on a day when you wake up, it will charge to the remaining 100%. This helps with battery heat and also battery usage. So check it out. It does help, but if you find yourself in a situation where you're picking your phone up every morning and it's at 80%, you might need to turn it off but I found it very useful. I recently did a video on how to keep your battery healthy. Definitely check that out. I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay up.